today's video will uh, review how to use ChatGPT to analyze big data sets. Uh, what you see on my screen is a summary table that I got um, after getting uh, after working with ChatGPT a bit. I sent a few prompts. I put a very large dat data set file, which included uh, 10 years worth of uh, trading history for Google, uh, for Google stocks. And I asked ChatGPT to analyze data to see what the best uh, investment strategy is for Google. Uh, initially, it came up with uh, this idea, uh, A1. So uh, the, the goal there is um, uh, to invest money on earnings day before announcement, hold uh, uh, stocks to 60 days and sell and then repeat. So in essence, you invest money for 60 days, then you um, sell, uh, move money into investment bearing account, uh, stay in cash in essence for 30 days and then reinvest. And then I asked um, ChatGPT to add additional line. Let's say, you know, this uh, 10 years horizon, you just invest and hold, do nothing essentially, wait for 10 years. So that's first line what it represents. Then I asked to, uh, ChatGPT to test a different theory. What if uh, you invest funds into Google stocks uh, in the end of the quarter and sell them before earnings call? So you you stay invested for 17 days and your sales and you uh, put money into uh, uh, into like a saving account and, you know, accrue interest and then you repeat it, repeat it next quarter. Then I asked it to test the theory of uh, combining A1 and B and see, you know, how that looks like. And it created this nice uh, table for me. We'll go through the table in a moment. It also created a few chart for me. In essence, on this real chart here, I'll make it a bit larger. It depicts uh, different strategies, buy and hold, um, invest for 60 days, uh, invest for 17 days uh, and sell before earnings, and combined, because you know this A1 and B strategies, they essentially, you know, they uh, uh, supplement each other, you can do both. You can, in essence, invest money on uh, in the end of each quarter, uh, wait until earnings and the waits for 60 days. So that's what that means. As you can see, lines are pretty much aligned, right? So, I mean, it's what's, that's really interesting. Uh, <clears throat> however, there are some differences. And uh, differences, first of all, I mean, what my table represents is a few columns. And as GPT to provide explanation for those columns, make it like real easy, you know, plain English. So like uh, different strategies, uh, buy and hold, A1 and B, and then combine. A1 is, again, when you invest on day of earnings call, hold for 60 days, and then sell. B uh, is you hold, uh, you stay invested for 17 days, investing on day uh, end of each quarter, and wait until uh, earning call, then sell. And then you see total return, um, comp compound annual growth rate, analyzed volatility, in essence, that means how bumpy your right is, right? Then Sharpie, ratio you can look it up i mean i have a very um a brief uh, explanation uh and max drawdown this is this is kind of you know it's a really important ratio it actually you know um shows you biggest uh, uh swings in stock prices and that's when people would get really nervous if you see like you know stocks going up but then sharply going down you you panic and you know that's kind of shows those uh pain points uh, so these are my four strategies, and you can see, like, you know, if you buy and hold 10 years, you have, like, highest total return. If you stay invest for 60 days each quarter, return is smaller, but keep in mind, in this case, you're staying in cash for 30 days out of 90 days period. Then next, quarter end, the earnings, uh, you sell an earnings call, it's lower, it's uh, five times over 10 years period if you do it, like, repeatedly, uh, uh, quarter after quarter, but however, in this case, you invested for 17 days each quarter, and then you stay in a money saving account, right? Uh, and then, if you combine both strategies, in this case, you're 77 days in invested, you get higher uh, uh, total return, higher than uh, SGB, but lower than A1. Uh, volatility, uh, you can see different level of volatility. So, I mean, uh, if you do it like only 17 days, your volatility is the smallest and you experience less pain, right? So this was the pseudo table means.
uh, on this chart, you see it was it lines overlapping and this um, buying hold strategy is not quite clear. It looks like, you know, it's hiding behind all these lines and then it actually, you know, uh, becomes a clear winner. But over the whole 10 years investing period, you see the bull line is actually hiding beneath all other strategies and it's not so over this like nine years period let's say if you stay invest uh, do the strategy until like middle of 2024 nine and a half years you're actually going to be pretty much in line with buy and hold and at the same time you stay in cash so you get an in out in and out so i mean if you like feel uh that you know you want to actually manage your money you don't want to like experience pain when stocks go down i mean that's something you may consider right <clears throat> but since the chart was so busy, I asked chat GPT to actually create another chart just to make sure that, you know, the blue line uh, was not somewhere on the charts. And as you can see, it's uh, in this case, it's compared to that 17 days holding period. You can see, you know, in some in some years, it actually gets uh, better than it actually reverses, and it also gets better. Uh, so, I mean, this strategy kind of makes sense. You stay invest for 17 days, then you uh, get out and, you know, you stay in cash, in, in um, a money saving account, and, you know, you feel safe. You don't have to worry about markets going up and down. So, you know, kind of playing safe uh, and smart. Yeah, <clears throat> and, I mean, pretty simple uh, file was, it was a gigantic Excel file, file against 10 years worth of history on... Uh, uh, trading days for um, Google stock prices. ChatGPT did very good job going through data points, testing different series, giving the results, uh, organizing everything in nice charts, tables, providing explanations. Uh, so it worked pretty well. Thank you. Bye.